Good morning, all of you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Let's uh, start with our next topic. Okay, from the last uh, some lectures, we are discussing about the how we can represent the logic for AI agent so that AI agent can understand it and uh, act accordingly and take the decision, just like the human beings can take the decision according to their uh, uh, logic or the knowledge. so uh, previously we have discussed the one of the way of representation of knowledge that was the proposition logic and some of the things related to the proposition logic already we have covered with some examples and also we have discussed uh, how we can represent the certain of propositions or the sentences or the facts from the real world with the help of the proposition logic and also we have discussed there are the um, more are the limitations uh, related with the proposition logic okay for the purpose of uh, representing some kind of knowledge now uh, we have seen already the some kind of limitation okay uh, but let's see some in another uh, okay before we start with the first order logic that is the our next type of uh, knowledge representation just we'll just go through the some uh, uh limitations of the proposition logic that will help us to understand the what exactly is the first order logic now in the proposition logic we have seen how we can represent the different uh, statements or the proposition using the proposition logic uh, with the help of the different proposition symbols but if you see in the proposition logic we can only uh, represent the knowledge or the facts which are either true or which are either false only that kind of statement which we are referring as a assertive sentences or the assertive statement or we are also calling it as a declarative sentences only that kind of sentences or the facts we can represent using the proposition logic okay and uh, if you have uh, other kind of statement uh, which are different from these uh, declarative sentences the sentence which contain the another different kind of keywords then that kind of sentences we cannot represent using the proposition logic so that is the one of the drawback or the limitation of this proposition logic because if you see uh, uh, in the world there are just not the facts are present or there are not just the declarative sentences are present there are the different kind of sentences and the different kind of facts are present next we will see that so we need the kind of logic which can represent the everything from the world understood not just a fact as a declarative sentences but we need the logic which can represent everything from the world but the proposition logic is not having that much amount of power and that's why we are saying it is having the limited expressive power it can it can represent only the limited knowledge yes or no it can represent only what limited knowledge but we want the logic which can represent every kind of knowledge understood and for that purpose we are having the first order logic now for example if you have the sentence yesterday also i have given the example of some sentences for example some humans are intelligent now can we write the proposition logic for this is it possible to write the proposition logic for this sentence some humans are intelligent no sir no if even if you try to write the logic for that only the logic you can have is like you will use some uh, proposition symbol like a and you write this statement in front of that that is not the logic understood here we not having any kind of uh, when you represent like this then we are not getting any kind of relationship here it is a simple sentence but it is this sentence is having some kind of relationship but this relationship cannot be shown or cannot be represented using the proposition logic because proposition logic is not having that much amount of expressive power and in order to represent then such kind of sentences we need to take the help of the first order logic 
another statement also we have written sachin likes a cricket now this statement cannot also be represented this is nothing but the part of knowledge base understood this is nothing but the one kind of uh, fact within a world but this cannot be represented using the proposition logic and for that purpose we need to take the help of the another powerful representation and that is nothing but our first order logic now there is another major drawback of the uh, uh, what we what we are saying uh, regarding the proposition logic okay now what that major drawback that proposition logic is the context independent it is what you might in the you might also get the question to prove that why the proposition logic is considered as a context independent now let's we understand this with some example suppose first statement we are having here radha started feeling the feverish and radha went to the doctor okay radha started feeling the feverish and radha went to the doctor now what does it mean yes what is the meaning of this sentence radha has a fever and he went to the doctor she went to he see has a temperature and that's why she went to the doctor understood now yes, sir. now if you assign the proposition symbol to represent this statement for example i denote the first sentence by the a and second sentence by the b correct yes. then uh, i can represent this sentence as a like this a and b correct the logic is yes sir using the proposition logic is this correct but if you have the second statement like radha went to doctor and radha started feeling the feverish now according to the our natural language understanding okay according to our natural language understanding these two sentences this one and this one are having the same meaning or the different meaning different yes according to the natural language according to the natural language understanding these two statements are having the different meaning yes sir. like here for here radha radha is feeling something uh, uh, radha is not feeling well that's why she went to the doctor but here here radha went to the doctor first and then she started not feeling well is that is the meaning yes, yes. correct and if you represent this second now how to represent the second statement using the proposition logic it is like it is nothing but the reverse of the previous one yes or no yes sir yes sir but yes sir but according to the proposition logic these two statements are having the same meaning what is our according to the rule of our proposition logic these two statements are having the same meaning yes or no yes sir yes like we know a and b should be equal to the b and a yes sir according to the proposition logic all of you are agree yes sir yes and that is the reason i am saying that the proposition logic is the context independent is it correct yes yes karan is a context veg veg hai but what the proposition proposition logic is saying no context is the same and that is the reason here i have said the proposition logic is the context independent so that is not the this is this is not the proper way of its meaning meaning of this two statement is different but proposition logic is saying no meaning is the same so is it the correct way of the representation are we getting the correct are we getting the correct uh, logic uh, by utilizing the proposition logic if you have the, this kind of sentences no no sir no. and no, that sir. is another limitation of the proposition logic so in the above example you can see the a and b and b and a should have the same meaning but in natural language words the sentences may have the different meaning so that different is one meaning. of the uh, dip, one of the limitations related with the proposition logic and to avoid such kind of limitations and many more limitations of the proposition logic 
we have the another kind of logic that is the first order logic first order logic now this kind of logic is also called as the predicate logic also for your kind knowledge for your kind information first order logic is also having the another name that is the predicate logic in the example question may get in the different way okay or it is also called as the first order predicate logic also fol or fopl okay so first order logic is the another way of knowledge representation just like first one we have seen the proposition logic in artificial intelligence and as it is the second category of uh, formal logic that's why it is considered as a extension to the proposition logic and it is uh, sufficiently expressive as compared with the our first logic that is the proposition logic and it is have the expressive power to represent the any kind of natural language statements okay it is also being uh, known as the predicate logic that i am already told you first order logic it is also called as the predicate logic or the first order predicate logic also fol is the powerful language that develop the information about the objects in more easy way and can also express the relationship between these objects which is not possible using the proposition logic but first order logic not just consider in the world only the facts or only the declarative sentences are kind of present but first order logic thinks that in the world there are the different things are present there are the objects are present in what you mean by the object etc we'll see that so fol think that there are the different objects are present within that object there are the different kind of relation is there so in order to represent that fol is the more powerful so first order logic like the natural language does not only assume that the world contains the fact like the proposition logic but it also assume that the world consist of the following important things are there so according to the fol the word just not contain only the facts or the declarative or assertive kind of sentences or the proposition but it consist of the various another kind of things in the world now which are that various another kind of things are available in the world which has to be considered and that is also being considered by the first order logic while representation of knowledge now which are that other kind of things like there are the number of objects are present in the world objects can be uh, anything peoples numbers alphabets colors wars theories squares speeds wampers anything anything which is present in the world can, can be come under the category of objects okay. then there are the number of relations are available in the world like it can be a unary relation such as a red round is adjacent or any other relation like sister of brother of friend of has color father of comes between like this so these things are present in the world like there are the other different kind of functions are present properties characteristic are there like best friend third inning of end of like this kind of different kind of categories of the things are present in the world functions are present in the world and that is the now these kind of things are being not able to being represent or the proposition logic is not having that much amount of expressive power to represent all these kind of things understood and that is the reason we need to utilize the first order logic and using the first order logic we can represent all these kind of things which are present in the world okay that we'll see in the next now let's see the now these things already we have discussed the according to the first order logic world consist of these different kind of things you should keep in mind this of according to the fol world contain the different objects relation function relations etc etc now let's see the some of the things related with the syntax of the first order logic just like in case of the proposition logic also we have discussed the syntax and the semantics now syntax of the fol determines which collection of the symbol is a logical expression in the first order logic means what which kind of symbol we have to utilize okay which kind of symbols we have to utilize you know to represent the knowledge okay that is nothing but the syntax just like in case of the proposition logic we have utilized the proposition symbols etc etc logical connective these different things we have to utilize in case of the fol also we are also going to utilize the different kind of symbols and the logical connectives also okay 
so the basic syntactic element of the first order logic are the symbols everything uh, depends on the symbol with the help of the symbol we are going to write the different kind of logic that will come under the category of first order logic now here are the some basic elements related with the syntax which is very important because if you know these then only we can write the different kind of uh, fol for the knowledge representation now what are the basic elements in case of the fol the basic elements like there are the constants now what can be the constant constant can be the number constant can be the name of any country state constant can be your name also variables some you must be knowing constant is something which uh, uh, generally not get change correct and also the another basic element we have the variables like uh, which can be get change like x y a b etc something which can get change that come under the category of variables this is important predicates now predicates is what predicate generally indicate the what you can say property of something or the relation characteristic these things are come under the predicates like for for example i have written here the brother of father of sister of greater than equal to less than equal to greater than uh, less than these things comes under the category of predicates functions relation like square root cube cube root left leg of left right leg of uh, right leg of these kind of things under the functions relations then connectives now same kind of connective that we have discussed in the proposition logic also like negation implication or the conditional conjunction disjunctions by conditional or the dual implications so these things comes under the connectives then equality element this is the equality element and most importantly and which is something new for you that are the quantifiers as a another basic elements of the fol that is the quantifiers now this is the one quantifier this you can see this is the reverse or the inverse of the a which is called as the universal quantifier if you have the notebook you can note down it it is called as the universal quantifier and second quantifier we are having here that is called as the existential quantifier second quantifier as a existential quantifier okay so based on by utilizing these different kind of symbols or the basic elements we are going to write the first order logic for the different things being present in the world or for the different knowledge which is being present in the world understood this point remember this or if you have a notebook you can uh, note it down because we are going to require this while writing the logic yes yes sir okay then let's move forward now just let's understand some more things about the <clears throat> the fol and the here we have the first order logic statements are like what so first order logic statement fol statement generally consist of the first may its main part as a subject and another part of the first order logic statement consist of the predicate now what do you mean by the subject just like in case of the natural language subject is nothing but the main part of any kind of statement yes or no yes sir then predicate as already i told you a predicate is defined like as a, it is a relation predicate as a part of the statement can be considered as a, any kind of relation attribute property characteristic which binds the two or more than two things or the atoms together in the statement that is called as the what we can say the predicate let's see in the example in the in the in case of some example what exactly these things are mean for example i have written the statement x is an integer what x is an integer now what is the subject of this statement 
what is the subject in this statement x x is a subject understood and what is the predicate integer is an integer integer is a predicate because it indicates some kind of what you can say the attribute okay it is it is a kind of attribute correct uh, it is a, it is simply the attribute of subject x understood so here we can see the given statement consists of the two parts like the first part x is a subject of the x is a subject of the statement and second part is the integer which is nothing but consider as a predicate okay so using these two uh, okay using these two things we are going to write the first order logic for the different kind of things which are present in the word now in the example you might be asked to explain the concept of the first order logic or the proposition logic and but uh, most of the time questions are being asked like you have given some uh, natural language sentences and you have been asked to write the proposition logic for that to write the first order logic for that etc etc six marks x marks question are always being asked you can check the different previous question paper also number of times you have been asked to write the logic for these different things okay that examples we are discussing now let's start with the example so that the things will get more clear now here we have the first example stephen was intelligent i hope all of you can able to see it clearly yes sir i have written the statement stephen was intelligent now tell me what is the subject in this statement stephen stephen is the stephen. subject you can easily see and i have written there also now yes. what is the predicate intelligent intelligent as you can see this is nothing but the predicate as a attribute property or the characteristic which we are calling it as a predicate now how then we write the fol for these now, in order to write the fol for these we should write first the predicate keep in mind when you are write the fol first what we will write first we will write the predicate now related with this statement what is our predicate intelligent intelligent so first we write the pre predicate that is intelligent then followed by write in followed by the predicate within a parenthesis within a parenthesis we have to write the subject now what is the subject stephen and that is the reason fol first order logic for this statement is this got the point yes sir now do you tell me using the proposition logic is is this kind of representation is possible now this no. is just a simple example i have given we are going to see the more examples then you will understand for example see the second example amir and the sharuk are the rivals amir and the sharuk are the rivals now how we can write the logic for this statement now which is the first thing we should you should uh, when you are writing the logic now these things are already asked in the exam now when you are writing the logic for this you should first understand what is the predicate within this statement now what is the predicate within this statement rivals rivals is the predicate yes sir and what are the only one subject is there or more than one subjects are there more than one amir and sharuk amir and the sharuk are the subject so we write the predicate first correct and yes, then sir. then what we have to write then you subject. have to write the subjects like amir comma sharuk sharuk now how we will read this logic i will read this logic amir and sharuk are the rivals in this way you can read this got the point yes let's see the more complex sentence richard father is married to the john's mother this is being asked number of times in the exam richard's father is married to the john's mother now it is a complex sentence yes sir now how we can write the predicate logic for this 
now first i told you you should identify what are the predicates are there married married is the main predicate yes what are the another predicates also no which are father is married to john's mother father and mother exactly father and mother are also other predicates but as compared with the father and mother which is the main predicate married yes so we will will what we do we will uh, dissect this statement or we will fragment this statement first and then we will write the main logic just like we have fragmented now as we have fragmented this is our main predicate married got the point yes sir this is as this is our main predicate everything which is there will come under this parenthesis now what are the other two predicates father and mother so yes, another predicate is the father okay now father and related with the father what subject we are having as a in the statement we have the richard father richard so father is the predicate then its subject will be richard yes sir similarly as a mother is the predicate its subject will be the john what the point yes sir and then finally we will write the fol for this first order logic for this like this as you can see below as first you have to write the main predicate that is the married, married. then followed by that you have to write the two other sub predicates and their subjects other predicate we have the father followed by the subject richard comma mother followed by the another each subject john so this is nothing but the fol first order logic for this given statement understood this yes sir now how we'll read this we'll read this like richard father is married to john's mother so it is being read like this so this is the basic example related with the predicate logic or the first order logic understood these three examples yes sir let's see some more now before that we understand some uh, type of sentences in case of the first order logic so first order logic generally consists of the two kinds of sentences in that we have the first the atomic sentences now what are the atomic sentences here i have written an atomic sentence are formed from the predicate symbols followed by the parenthesis parenthesized list of items already we have utilized this in the previous example atomic sentences form from what predicate symbol like for example this is the example take this example raj and john are brothers okay eh? raj and john are brother now what is the predicate of this now this is the atomic sentence brother. brother is the predicate yes sir and subjects are raj and john raj and john which is you have written within a parenthesis now this raj yes, and john are also considered as the terms in technical language raj and john are considered as what terms got yes. the point and that is the reason here you can see an atomic an atomic sentence is formed from the predicate symbol atomic sentence is formed from the predicate symbol predicate symbol brother followed by parenthesized list of items so within a parenthesis we have list of terms raj and john okay keep this in mind so uh, it's a formula also i have written atomic sentence is equal to predicate followed by the bracket number of terms getting subject is like terms yeah subject subject you can consider as a terms here atomic sentence then predicate yes definitely the sub terms are considered as a uh, like subjects now what subjects. are then terms also i have written here terms can be considered as a function like constant variables everything comes under the category of terms terms okay now let's see the another kind of sentence in case of the fol that is the complex sentence 
now complex sentences are made from the atomic sentences using the connectives okay if you utilize the atomic sentences with the connectives uh, uh, with the connectives atomic sentence with the connectives generally considered as a complex sentences like here i have written negation of s negation of s1 and s2 negation of s1 or s2 negation uh, sorry sorry not negation here s1 and s2 s1 or s2 s1 implied s2 s1 double implication s2 like this so if in the atomic sentences if you write the logical connectives that becomes your complex sentence like here directly i have written the logic here the logic is given for some sentences sentences can be what एक्जाम मे पे विचार जाऊ शकत कि लॉजिक दिल जता तुम्हारा सेंटेन्स फॉर्म के यू विल बी आज टू राइट द सेंटेन्स फ्रॉम दैट गेटिंग सो वॉट कैन बी द सेंटेन्स फॉर दिस what sentence will from this logic john is no praj ah huh? yes john is a sibling of raj and raj is sibling of john sibling means what neighbor jawal sa rahnar bazu sa hmm लाइक हियर नाउ सो वॉट विल बी द स्टेटमेंट विल फ्रॉम दिस इफ जॉन एंड राज आर सिबलिंग्स Mm. then raj and john are also siblings yes sir correct or not yes sir implies <laughs> if john and raj are the siblings then raj and john also can be the siblings understood yes, so the question might be asked in the uh, what you can say in another way also you might be uh, in the exam logic might be given and from that logic you have to write the sentences let's move forward <clears throat> now main thing we should discuss in the fol that are nothing but the quantifiers and number of time the question being asked on the quantifiers only now what are the quantifiers just like the other symbols the quantifiers are also the symbol but it is having the more expressive power okay these are also like the what we can say the symbols like other symbols but it is having the more expressive power so here i have written the quantifiers are the symbol that permit to determine or identify range and scope of the variable in the logical expression okay with the when you understand the example you will understand what i have written here now two types of quantifiers are there mainly as i previously also told you universal quantifier now what is its symbol what is the symbol of universal quantifier and existential quantifier inverse a inverse a is the symbol of the universal yes. quantifier universal. and e. existential con con uh, quantifier e. like this we have the symbol related with the okay so two types of quantifiers are there first as i am saying the universal quantifier which is being having the symbol like this and second we have the existential quantifier which is having the uh, in a uh, reverse of the e like this kind of symbol now for what kind of things can be represented using the universal quantifier that is the main thing what kind of things can be represented with the help of the universal quantifier now if in the word the sentences are having the uh, mentions like for all everyone everything 
if these things if this kind of words are present in your sentences which are being present in the real world then for the purpose of representation of that kind of things we can utilize the universal quantifier okay keep this in mind okay if you know this then only you can write the logic using the universal quantifier and the existential quantifier then what kind of things can be represented using the existential quantifier like some for some at least at least one like this kind of things can be represented using the existential quantifier now there are the uh, special kind of uh, connectives are being utilized while you are log uh, writing the logic using the universal quantifier and the existential quantifier so in the universal quantifier we use the implication connective this is important keep in mind this in case of the universal quantifier what we have to use implication connective in case of the existential quantifier we always use the and conjunction as this symbol for the and connective we have to utilize in the existential quantifier so these are the mandatory things related with these two quantifiers you should keep in mind this what first thing is what what is the symbol of the universal quantifier second what is the symbol of existential now what uh, uh, connectives are being utilized in the universal quantifier and what connectives are being utilized in the existential quantifier okay now let's see the example of this now you can see now this is the general format of writing the logic using the universal quantifiers okay general format i am telling you what is the general format the universal quantifier symbol followed by variable and the sentences okay keep in mind this universal quantifier symbol followed by some variable and the sentences let's check out the example this is the example every cat drinks milk what every cat drinks milk now can anybody tell me if using the proposition logic if you have to write the logic of this statement like every cat drinks milk then it is possible to write but you have to write that proposition logic statement for every cat every cat in the sense we don't know how many cats are present in the universe do we know this how many cats are present in the world no sir even if you consider 1 1 lakh cats are present correct so if yes, you sir. want to write the proposition logic you have to write you have to use the 1 lakh proposition symbols what you have to write the 1 lakh proposition symbols and then you have to write the logic for that that is the main drawback in case of the proposition logic but if you write if you try to write the logic in the first order logic let's see how it can happen what is the statement every cat drinks milk suppose i consider this is the universe universe of discourse manje whole world ani ata apan ithe kay consider karu ki in the whole world there are only three cats are remain how many three cats are remain their names are x1 x2 x3 their names are what x1 x2 and x3 x1 drinks the milk and x2 drink the milk and x3 also drinks the milk correct yes sir then how we can write the logic for these now logic for this is very simple you can see here as i mentioned here universal quantifier universal quantifier followed by the variable x now what is the x cat x are that whatever number of cats are there yes sir correct or not yes so universal quantifier followed by the variable colon followed by cat in bracket x then which implies drink 
इन ब्रैकेट एक्स कॉमा मिल्क आता मी संगित फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड नो फर्स्ट थिंग यू शुड आइडेंटिफाय फ्रॉम दिस स्टेटमेंट इज वॉट वॉट आर द प्रेडिकेट एंड वॉट आर द सब्जेक्ट्स Now, what are the predicate within this? Uh, what you can say statement? Drink. Drink is the predicate. Predicate. Understood. Yes, sir. So, drink is our predicate, and now in order to represent the subject, we are utilizing the symbol X. I hope you are getting. Yes, sir. Understood, and that is the reason here I have written. Universal quantifier x colon cat x implies drink as drink is our main predicate. Drink in bracket x comma milk. Now how to read this logic? For all x meaning of this statement meaning of this part for all x. what is the meaning of this next part for all x if x is a cat getting yes sir for all x yacha meaning kay for all x if x is a cat then now what is the meaning of this third part third part of logic then x drinks milk getting yes yes sir for all x if x is a cat imply kasha sathi use kele apan imply indicates then x drinks milk now what is the x x is a cat x is a cat understood and this is nothing but yes, the logic for this particular sentence that every cat drinks milk is this logic is correct yes or no yes sir yes yes sir now you should understand how to read the logic also you are getting and that's why i have written here how to read this meaning of this for all x if x is a cat karan apan x kuna sathi use kela cat sathi for all x if x is a cat then x drink milk milk what the point yes sir now yes, sir. more example you will solve the idea will get more clear so let's see the another example also here example is what everyone at integral is smart everyone at integral is smart so what logic we have written see here universal quantifier x what does it mean for every x if x is a integral for every x if x is a integral then x is a smart meaning of this then x is a smart now you can write this uh, in some another way also like uh, let's let me show you just like i have written here x comma integral you can also write it like the integral and in front of that x also it also correct you are getting what i am saying yes sir just say here lilaita sir you can write it like this integral and in front of integral you can also write the x it is also correct so what does it mean for every x if x is a integral then x is a smart understood this yes everyone at integral yes, everyone at integral so for this everyone we have written this logic everyone at everyone at integral okay now at integral is everyone so that's why we have write to this like x comma integral or integral in bracket x what everyone at integral is what everyone integral everyone at integral is what everyone at integral is smart and that is the reason here we term smart is the uh, our predicate smart and in bracket x 
got the point yes sir let's see one more example another example this is a very common which is being asked in the exam also all kings are persons okay all kings are persons all sati kai linar apan universal universal quantifier and variable index x is a variable एक्सच यूज केला पाहिजे असं काही नाही तुम्ही कुठला पण व्हेरिएबल यूज करू शकता करेक्ट येस सर ऑल किंग्स सो हियर फॉर ऑल किंग्स एज किंग वी आर गोइंग टू रिप्रेझेंट यूज इन द एक्स सो फॉर ऑल एक्स फॉर हियर ऑल किंग्स आर पर्सन्स फॉर ऑल एक्स इफ एक्स इज अ किंग दॅट इज रिटर्न लाईक दिस किंग इन ब्रॅकेट एक्स गॉट द पॉइंट Yes, for all x if x is a king then x is a person also this is written like this then x is a person also then x is a person got the point yes sir let's see another example also now let's see the things related with the existential quantifiers now same example we write in the another way here some cats are duffer what some cats are duffer now we don't know how many cats are there so we we'll assume that suppose x1 x2 x3 x3 are the some cats are present x1 is duffer x2 is duffer x3 is duffer understood now in case of the existential quantifier which symbol we utilize this symbol okay and which yes, connective we utilize and and so what is the statement given some cats are duffer for some cats for ata cats apan kashe ne represent karnar which variable x x so meaning of this what for some x if x is a cat correct mm -hmm. for some x if x is a cat and he is the uh, she is the duffer so for some egg if x is a cat then x is a duffer but here we don't have to use the amplification symbol connective here we have to utilize compulsory what and symbol and that is the existential quantifier understood the same example we have seen regarding the existential quantifier in the different approach instead of there all here some is mentioned and when some at least this kind of things are there then we have to utilize the existential quantifier and this kind of symbols for some x if x is a cat then x is a duffer let's see one more example related to this some prime number is a even number or some prime numbers are the even number how we should write the law, fol for this using the existential quantifier some now some word is there for some we write the symbol like this existential quantifier yes, followed by the variable x x now some prime number is even number now next is what prime now if now here for some x now x is we are for x x is for what we are utilizing for number some number yes sir so for some x if x is a prime it is being written like this if x is a prime then x is a even also this is being written like then x is a even number also understood so this is the fol using the existential quantifier let's see the another example some students like bunk some student like bunk then how will write the fol for this using the na ata ito aplyala universal quantifier use karta il ka can you use the universal quantifier for this no no because some sim some word is there understood yes. and if some word is there we have to write we have to use the existential quantifier followed by the variable x understood for some x x indicating here what student 
for some x if x is a student if x is a student for some x if x is a student and then that x student like the bunks that is being written like this like x comma bunk what is its meaning x like the bunk got the point yes sir so this is another example related with the existential quantifiers okay so only the properties of the quantifiers are remain that we will see in the next lecture but here here i am giving you the some example you can note it down here you have to write the foil for these examples okay you have to write the first order logic for these examples these are the examples which are being asked in the exams okay yes sir yes sir okay so that's it for the today's lecture thank you thank all you, of sir. you thank you sir